Beaters, it's Gina from OrganandOpal.com and I'm back today with some inspiration for some men's or masculine jewelry. You can see down below here that I have a bunch of products that I had gotten from bbcraft.com and I used these in different combinations to come up with some different designs. Of course, the 12 I have here are just examples, but really the sky's the limit with all these things when you put them together and start seeing how they work. There's a lot more that I could have even done with these materials to create even more. I will leave links to all these products down below so you know where you can get your hands on them. If you're not familiar with bbcraft.com, they're an online craft and jewelry making supply store and I do have a coupon code to share it's Gina G-I-N-A and that will save you five dollars off your purchase of forty dollars or more and they do now offer free shipping even internationally on orders over twenty five dollars so in these ideas today, you're gonna to see these four different types of cord. I have two sizes of bolo cord. There's a four millimeter and a six millimeter diameter. I have this genuine leather strap. It comes in all different widths. And by the way, these cords come in all different colors, sizes. They really have a lot to choose from, not just black and not just these styles. You can see here is a one and a half millimeter cord and you really get a lot on each of these spools. In addition to the cord, they also have a variety of masculine style clasps, like these snake heads and tails and these anchors right here. Also some really classy stainless steel magnetic clasps, very minimalistic, simple and streamlined, great for masculine jewelry, as well as cord ends in varieties of sizes and styles, large hole spacer beads that will fit over various size cord, and also these variety packs of large hole decorative tube beads. I do hope to be back to share some tutorials on some of the bracelets I'm about to show you. But in the meantime, I wanted to let you know what I made and give you some ideas to get you started. So all these designs are really pretty simple, but let's start with the most basic one. This is one where I actually took the 3 8 inch wide leather strip, fit it to my husband's wrist where he felt comfortable, and simply glued that into one of these stainless steel magnetic class closures that fits that width just perfectly. Once I got started making these, I just couldn't stop. I really only just sat down to make one bracelet and then more and more ideas kept coming to me. So I just ran with it. So this couldn't be more simple, but it's a really classy looking piece. And what I really appreciate about these men's bracelets is they look great layered. For example, my husband's not even really into jewelry, but I made all these the day before he went on a business trip and he loved them. I think these would make a great gift. And immediately he picked out three of his favorites and stacked them on his wrist and they looked great together. So here's the next twist on that really simple style. Again, I used one of these rectangular stainless steel magnetic clasps. You can see it just slides just like that. These were the priciest items that I had gotten, but they're well worth the cost. This was a six pack of these clasps that would come out to about $4 per clasp. And there were a variety of sizes. So this one was a thicker one. You can see that I was actually able to fit the same size leather strap in here in addition to the four millimeter bolo. Now you could leave it just like that. It looks pretty classy, just kind of that layered look with the two different textures of leather, two different sizes. But I pulled in one of these two beads with that filigree botanical design, as well as two spacer beads that fits right on the four millimeter bolo chain. And that is just to keep this tube slider in place. Depending on which size you use from the variety pack, they have different diameters. So if you don't want it sliding around, you can just tuck in two spacer beads that are a little bit tighter and it keeps it in place and looks really nice too. Next, let's talk about a couple styles that I made using this thinner one and a half millimeter leather cord. With this one, I actually gathered up four strands of it together and glued it into these end caps. And by the way, the glue I used is the E6000 jewelry glue. And I also added some spacer beads just to add an extra element right here and keep everything gathered nicely together. Then at the top, I used another one of those decorative tube beads to hold all of those four cords in place. You can see I finished this bracelet off with a really simple toggle clasp. This wasn't something I got from BB Craft, but I will link to something they have that's very similar. 
Next up, getting a little bit more decorative with that thin cord, I actually wrapped it around the four millimeter bolo, which I have gathered together here at the bottoms, pulled those together and then glued them in a corresponding cord end that fit those two. I also used two different sizes of the metal spacer beads and was able to weave the thinner cord in and out of these larger spacer beads. And I like how it looks from all angles and also pulls all of this together. And this piece here doesn't move it stays in place once again finished it off with a really simple toggle clasp and there you have it the remaining eight designs all feature either the four or the six millimeter bolo cords braided cord this one is really simple again just use the six millimeter glued into some corresponding end caps simple toggle clasp and slid on one of these two beads just for an added decoration i mean you could even get away with just doing the cord by itself really this two bead is just a simple way to add another decorative element like i said if you wanted to add two spacer beads to either side to keep it in place you could do that or just just keep it as an element that slides around if you want to. Next up is a wrap bracelet design. So this is one using the four millimeter diameter cord and it's basically just one long loop that is able to wrap around a wrist three times so it gives the look of a layered bracelet. I also pulled in one of these decorative two beads that can slide pretty much wherever you want it and I used one of these other magnetic tube style clasps that I had gotten that simply twists like that and unlocks. I love how streamlined that tube magnetic clasp is and all of these clasps feel really sturdy. Next up I have a couple designs featuring these snake heads and tail clasps so basically you just glue a tail on one end and the snake head on the other. These would not be for everybody but they're really cool. My husband happens to love reptiles so he absolutely loved these clasps and since these came in a variety of metals and so did these two beads I decided to pull in some antique brass to break up some of the silver and there you go. So simple but really masculine really cool looking. Speaking of the snakes, here is one featuring the silver style and you can see that I turned this one into one of those wrap style bracelets. So again, just cutting yourself enough cord to where this could be wrapped around three times or you could do two times or however many times you want and then glue or secure on the tail and the head on either end. Give it plenty of time to dry and then you have another really cool bracelet only using two materials besides the glue. Next up is another option using the bolo cord. I had gotten these large hole gemstone beads in a mixed variety pack from bbcraft.com several months back and I have used them periodically, but it's been a little while. Decided I could use these on the cord as well because of the large holes, but yet they are pretty snug. They are pretty tight to the cord, so They really don't move around, which is pretty cool. And you could mix these together. They came in a variety of different colors, different stones. These were just four that I happen to put together and then space them out with more of those spacers from that variety pack. Next up is a style I created using the anchor clasp they sent. I found that two strips of the four millimeter cord fit really well into the end of the anchor. I did also try to bend the anchor a little bit. I found that it was a little bit too flat or too straight to really curve around the wrist as much as I wanted to. And it is a very, very sturdy clasp. It was hard to get it to give it all, but I was able to bend it just a little bit as you can see. And I just created a loop on this end for the cord to fit fit into using some stainless steel wire. Then I wanted to try out using one of these rectangular magnetic clasps with some bolo cord. I had tried it with the leather strap, but as you can see, the three strands of cord fits perfectly in this size clasp. And then I brought it together here on the top with some different sizes of spacer beads where I staggered them together and wove the cords through like that to create this unique design that also doesn't move around due to the fact that the cords are packed nice and tight in this weave. And last but not least is this design right here that made a two strand bracelet using the four millimeter size cord affixed into the smallest width of rectangular magnetic clasp that came in the variety pack with this classy knotted design on the top, just the two sides looping together. And again, pulled in two of these spacer beads that fit these two cords just perfectly to where everything's tight enough that this isn't gonna move and these beads aren't gonna slide around. 
So that's an up close look at all 12 of the bracelets I made from the products so far that I've gotten recently from bbcraft.com. Definitely check them out. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below if you're curious about anything that I used in particular. Don't forget to use the coupon code GINA, G-I-N-A, if you want to save $5 off your purchase of $40 or more. And I still have a ton of materials left, as you can see. There's so many more design ideas and styles that I could have come up with, but I figured I'd call it a day at 12 and it looked like a nice collection of things that I could share with you guys to get you started, maybe some inspiration for you, to get you thinking if you've been wanting to get into more masculine jewelry, maybe you want to make some gifts for the men in your life. We see so many jewelry designs for women and we don't want to leave out the guys. Like I said, I would like to come back with some simple tutorials showing you how I put some of these things together if you're curious, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnopal.com. Thanks for watching.